Did you ever use an audio file all over your Ableton project, but then you decide you want to have something else or you improve the version and you want to swap it? There's actually an easy way how you can swap all the audio files of the same type in Ableton. For example, I just updated my Groove Loops, Foundation of a Great Track, Arrangement and Bonus Risers for Ableton. It's a basic arrangement layout, how you could do an arrangement with a great sounding kick and bass and a cool drum groove. So everything how I basically would use it in my own productions and my own releases. And I didn't really like it anymore how it sounded because it was from 2020. And yeah, obviously I improved my own production as well. So I gave it like a new round and created a new kick and new bass. I created new drums um, and now I had to replace everything. And the thing is when you start replacing stuff, um, you need to replace it like everywhere here. And it can be like a little bit cumbersome because then you need to put like all the gaps in again. You need to create all the tiny fades again. You may need to change the warping modes. You may need to adapt the gain if you have sent anything or any kind of like other changes you apply to this audio file um, will be not included. If you just copy it over, um, then you need to do it all by hand and can be really a little bit annoying to be honest. But there's a really, really easy way how you can swap those audio files. And I already have done it in this project, but I will show you quickly how to do it. Once you click the audio file here, you will get um, this little uh, window here in Ableton 11 and you can see here the file name on the top and if you right click this and go to manage samples then this little window will open here and you can see the location and now they are already in my project here but what I basically did is I went here on edit and you can see all the samples go offline once you click this and all you need to do is you need to drag the new audio file you created on top of it and just place it here. And then you can see here external. So it's now um, has now a different location. And if you want to share the project, for example, with a friend or you're creating a pack, then you obviously need to include the file as well. And there's an easy option how to do this. You just go to here on file and this little menu opens here. You go to manage project and then you can basically see which files are in the project, which files are missing. So that's kind of like files where Ableton doesn't know where they are. And there's like external files and you can collect them here into the project. So this is the file I just swapped and then you go collect and save and it will collect them. And you can also delete files which are not used anymore. So we go here and collect and save. And just to make sure, because there's a little bug in Ableton that you sometimes need to do this twice. So we go here, file, manage files again, manage project, and we see everything is contained in the project. But sometimes I get this that uh, there's still the same files showing up here. So if that happens, then just redo it and usually it works then. So I don't know if it just displays it or it doesn't do it. Anyways, um, just to be safe, do it twice.